Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Ignore the Bria Story, Tape 1. Uh, we ended up here at this... We wanted food. So let's see if we can actually get some food now, because I think we... Um, exhausted every option that was out there. Talk, welcome to town, this is what's gonna get you. Uh, pick up my order. Oh wait, can I get a couple of sodas? Sure, I'll just add it to your order. Thank you. So we got a soda now. Which we can give to our... Uh, boyfriend here. Jason. Inventory. Soda. Here you go. Thanks, babe. Listen. I may have a surprise for you when we get home. Jason, this isn't like you? Unless it's something stupid again. Eh, this is much more serious. I may have found you a good story. Come on. Really? Remember the last story you got for me? This one involves a... murder. Now you have my attention. Come on, spill the beans. Here, who? I'll tell you after dinner. I, I don't want to spoil her appetite. Ooh, gruesome, eh? Just you wait, babe. I'm sure this'll be the one. Yeah, I hope so. Alright, can we get order for Briatina? It's us. Be back in a sec, babe. Oh, you're gonna pick it up. Did she just call me babe? Yeah, because she keep on calling her babe. So, tell me more about this lead of yours. Huh? Oh! Right, the lead. How would you like to cover a... murder? Um, yes. Jeez, someone excited about a murder. You don't understand. This could be our big break. We won't be nobodies anymore. I can finally be an actual journalist? I thought you were already a journalist? Now with the stories that come out of this place... There's a catch, though. It's out of state. So, road trip? You got it, B. The surprises just keep coming, don't they? You know it, B. I need to calm down. I'm getting too excited. Here. I'll be back, babe. Just going for a smoke. Are we going for a smoke? Are you, are you going to resp- Okay, there we go. Some sort of loading times or something, I don't know, but it... Sometimes does that. Ashtray. I don't need to empty it. No, you need to, uh, inventory cigarettes. Can't believe it, I just can't. Finally, a good story. But, how did Jason of all people get it? Oh well, I'm too excited anyway. Right, so that's it then. Did you do what you wanted to do? Hey, dude, still got an address? Uh, heck yeah, we're still going. Dude, she's never been this happy before. I think I know, but really, no outsiders. What's the name of the place, anyway? Ash Pines. Sounds like one of those towns in a horror movie. <laughs> can you get us in somehow? Like, talk to the cops or something? Please. She really needs this. I haven't seen her this happy in a long time. You know what she's like, man? Please? Yes! Dude. I owe you one. I'll pack her stuff tonight. Y yes, we'll be careful. Trust me, this is gonna be great for her. Jason? Gotta go, bro. Talk later. Thanks again. Who was that? Her ticket to success, babe. We'll leave in the morning. Start packing. I can't wait. I'm gonna head to bed early. I'll pack in the morning. 
Yeah, hey, does that mean... Don't push your luck. Damn. Oh, well. Come on, then. Yes! All right, gotta get jiggy with it. Did... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god, what? Cuba? That's some Japanese horror right there. Brianna. I'll be waiting for you. What? Why? Why? What? No. No, you won't. No, thank you. That that's not funny. We just played the prologue. Nice. Uh, we're, in, we're in a car. So where are we going? Some place called Ash Pines. Never heard of it to be straight with you. I have. I've been there before. Yeah? When? When I was young. Mom used to take me there. We'd sit by the lake and catch tadpoles. Sounds nice. Wish I did stuff like that with my mom. Why? What did you do? Italian family. It was either cleaning, helping dad build stuff, or taking a beating. Those flip-flops leave marks. It sounds brutal. Well, mom was always right, you know. I pulled my head in, got a decent job, and found a nice girl. Aw, thanks, babe. Besides, you should have seen the girl mom tried setting me up with. She had a bigger mustache than mine. It's not nice, Jason. I'm sure she was a lovely girl. If you say so, B. <laughs> so what are we going to do once we get there? Well, I booked us a motel just on the edge of town. Once we get there, I'll give you the lowdown on what we're investigating. We're also meeting an informant later this afternoon. How exciting. Almost there, babe. My butt hurts so bad. We've only been driving for a few hours, Jason. What was with that roadblock earlier? Not sure, but it was nice of the cops to let us into town. Did you book our room? Yeah, just gotta check in. Want me to do it? I'll do it. Need to stretch my legs. Okay, babe. Oh, here we go. That's the utility room. I don't think we um, we want anything to do with that. I see nothing special about it. Can we talk to him? Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure. Uh, what's up? Uh, I'm Briatina. I'm a journalist working on a story about Ash Pines. A journalist? I suppose I can answer a few questions, but I don't really know much about Ash Pines. Any information is good information, if you don't mind me asking, of course. Not at all. Fire away. Uh, can you tell me anything you know about Ash Pines? There's not much, to be honest with you. My wife and I only just arrived here a few days ago. We are on our honeymoon. How did you find out about this place? I found a brochure for it a while back at a gas station just outside of town. Gorgeous looking town, might I add, from what we've seen so far. I agree. A town in the woods. Sounds like a fantasy. I haven't heard about any murders. What are you talking about? My apologies, it's, it's nothing. Alright, goodbye. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Yeah, and then the game is... It's frozen again. For a bit. I just, I mean, I've spoke... Oh, wow. I've spoken to the developer and... Um, there are a couple of 
bugs in in this game still, uh, which is fixing, trying to fix. And if this is the only one that we're gonna encounter, I mean, we can work with it. Cleaning lady, can we talk to you? Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, I'm Briatina. I'm sorry, honey. I'm a little busy to chat right now. How long have you been working here? What are you, a reporter? Well, yeah. Oh, really? Can I be on TV? Maybe. Can you answer a few questions? So long as it has not, hasn't got anything to do with my job. Fair enough. Thank you for your time, so no questions then. Enjoy your stay, lady. So where do we have to go to? Is it... Oh, you know what? Let's save. What would you like to do? I would like to save the game. Thank you very much. I'm not turning off my console. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm saved. Reception. This is where we check in, probably. What are you looking at? I'm sorry. Hey there, welcome to the Ash Pines Motoring. How can I help you, lady? My boyfriend booked us a room. Sure, what's the name? Tina. Ah, Tina. Got your key right here. Got you both booked for seven days in room two. Your credit card's been processed, so you're good to go. Continental breakfast included with room service and the cable's free. But anything past Channel 7 ain't safe for kids. Have a nice day, little missy. Uh, thanks. <clears throat> okay, so we got our key. Can you tell me anything about Ash Pines? It's there to tell, just a boring old town populated by weird people. Weird people? I can tell this is your first time to Ash Pines, little lady. Actually, I've been here before a long time ago. I don't go into town much since I've been running the motel. My advice, keep to yourself around here. Certain things cannot be trusted. You mean people? People can't be trusted? Right. Right. People. Thanks for the tip. Alright, goodbye. Enjoy your stay, little missy. Thank you. And I can see the... The, the fans stop rotating. <laughs> so... There we are. We got access. Okay, what is... What is... Pamphlets? It's a bunch of pamphlets for various takeaway restaurants and attractions. Can we... I don't need one of these right now. Are you sure? Fire... Oh, it's a fireplace. This is a pretty big fireplace. Big enough to burn a body in it. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? I just like to mess with tourists from time to time. <laughs> no wonder this place is empty. Right. So that was the fireplace. Okay, we got our key, honey. Honey bunny. There's even a swimming pool. Damn, the pool's been drained. Why did I even pack my bikini? <laughs> right, I can't do anything with it. Fine. Uh, Alright, let's head into our room then. Room number two. I shouldn't go barging in rooms. We got a key. Finally, let's unpack. Whoa, I can't wait to see our... It's a dump. Just like our apartment. So, what do we think? I mean, it's a motel. What do you expect? I'll take that as a yes. Sorry, babe. It was the best that I could afford. It's okay, Jason. I know I should be a little, a little bit more grateful. Besides, we're covering a real murder mystery. Can't wait to get a start on investigating. Well, for now, just investigate the parking lot. 
We got more bags to carry in. You need any help? Nah, I'll be fine. You go explore, babe. Yo, B. They have those little fancy soaps I like. Please don't steal anything. We have a ton of them at home already. Can't make any promises, babe. Buttermilk, honey, you're coming home with me. <laughs> oh. Nice. I also always take those little thingies uh, back home with me. Can we interact with the bat? No, we can't. What is that? I can't do anything with it. Okay, we can't. What about the TV? Can we look at the TV? There's nothing special about it. A shower? We can't take a shower even? Microwave? Okay. So let's let's head here and let's save again. Uh, it's save often, you know. Wait. Why am I looking at trash? Nobody knows. Yeah, let's save. Interact. I would like to save. Thank you. And now we have to explore. ATM. Can't do anything with the ATM. Do we have to speak with you again? Oh, that's still the same. Oh, wow. That hopped. Okay. What about this here? This must be the utility room. Strange. There's small scratches at the bottom of the door. Some sort of small animal, maybe? Why is my name still there? Uh, nothing new there. There's an ashtray here. I could use a spoke. Then use it. Okay, that won't do anything. Wait, what is that here in the corner? Old tires. Just a bunch of old dusty tires. There's a lot of cobwebs. Yuck, spiders. Is there anything else that we can interact with here then? Van. Where would you like to go? <gasps> I want to go to the police station. APPD. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for office advice. My name is Briatina. I'm doing a story on Ash Pines. You're not with a crazy redhead Maggie, are you? Well, uh, do me a favor. Tell her to just give up. There was just too much evidence against her dad. Please, we're just here to speak to Officer Vice. Well, you're in luck. He's just in the room to your right. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank me. Hey, are you... You're Officer Vice. My name is Briatina. I'm a journalist. A journalist? I didn't know that Ash Pines was a hotspot for prime journalism. So, what are you doing here, Miss Tina? I'm here to report on the murder of Claire Sullivan. Sullivan? You're about 20 years too late, Miss Tina. I know, I'm trying to... This wouldn't have anything to do with Miss Winters, would it? Look, Maggie's a sweet girl, but she needs to move on. I mean, I sympathize with her, I, I really do. I can't imagine what she's been going through for the last 20 years. Then why don't you help her? right we all have you can't just let a murderous man go free are you sure he's the killer what is this horror movie he was convicted and locked away heck this happened 20 years ago i was still in high school uh the bolt seems to be getting closer toward disappointment 
I'm sure she already explained this all to you. Otherwise, why would you be here? Maybe you're hiding something? You're right. These milk chocolates. They're mine, before you start asking. I meant about the case. Was there anything missing from the report? Nothing that I was aware of. What about a child? Why wasn't there a name filed with the report? According to the report, they searched the entire premises and didn't find squat. Then why did Maggie mention a child? Apparently a witness saw someone leave the house with a child earlier that day. That could have been anyone's kid. So no coincidence? Who knows? That's what that's what was in the initial report. Okay. So what evidence did you have on Maggie's father? According to the report, prints all over the crime scene a murder weapon. Which was a kitchen knife. However, I remember something really bugged me about that report. It mentioned something about multiple stab wounds. I think 12, maybe more. It's been a while since I've read the darn thing though. What's so strange about that? Well, if I remember correctly, the autopsy stated that they were all inflicted at the same time. How is that possible? There was only one knife. My memory's a little foggy, sorry. It's been a long time since I've seen that report. Is it possible to speak to Maggie's father? Sure, if you can find him. He was transferred out of state a few years back. Not sure what happened to him since. Is there any records of where he was transferred to? Unfortunately, no. The station was ransacked last year. Late last year. Weapons, equipment and even documents were all stolen in the process. Whoever it was did a very thorough job of it too. You mentioned multiple stab wounds. Could it mean there were multiple assailants? Well, if there were more, we would have found more prints. Is there any reason Maggie would be so persistent in proving her father's innocence? Well, prior to the murder, her father had a pretty clean record. I think the worst he had was an outstanding parking ticket. Isn't that a little suspicious? Listen, just between you and me, the officer who arrested her father wasn't entirely convinced either. Who was it? He's retired now, but his name is Dave Kagami, Senior. Senior? He has a son with the same name? Nailed it. Haven't seen him in years, though. You'll have to look up an address book if you want to find him. Can't give that information out, I'm afraid. Sure. Alright, and the last option, Ash Pines. What can I say? It's a small, boring town. As sad as it was, that murder was the only exciting thing to happen in Ash Pines. Interesting. Well, we got some leads. Goodbye, Miss Tina. And we uh, are going to follow up on those leads um, in the near future. So, whenever this game starts running again, it's, it's weird, though. It's like sucking up all the memory or something. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching uh, Bria's story. I will see you next time.